Hey, Trace here. I'm in the middle of setting up to compare these two microphones, the AKG P220 and C214. And I thought I'd take you along with me while I set up Cubase 9 to compare them. First, we'll go over the equipment, then we'll set up Cubase 9, and then we'll calibrate both microphones. Let's get to it. I have both microphones and a speaker plugged into a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 USB interface with direct monitoring switched to off so we won't get feedback. Let's launch Cubase. When you launch the latest versions of Cubase, it starts at the Steinberg Hub. This is where you create a new project and set your project folder. Now let's select the interface for the driver that we're going to record with. So let's go to devices. Let's go to device setup. Here is a list of all of the interfaces I have on this computer. But we're going to use the driver for the Focusrite 2i2. And then let's make sure that all of the ports on that interface are active. Okay, both inputs and both outputs are visible and active. Next, let's create the tracks to record to and from. So we can right click on anywhere in this area and select add audio track. Now this is important. This is going to come up a few more times during the process. We want to create a mono in and stereo out track. Mono in and stereo out. So let's create three of these. Now let's add track. Now let's go to zoom. Now let's zoom tracks full to fit them on the screen. Next, let's color and label the tracks to make things much easier for us. So this is track one. Let's make it red. And let's label it mic one. And let's go to track two. I like to make that one blue. And we'll call this mic. Okay. Now let's go to track three. All right. Let's color this one orange. And let's label this one. Okay, so we have, this is the track that we're going to record from. Anything in this track is going to be played through the speaker that we have connected to the interface. So we've got two microphone tracks, one and two, and then we have a speaker track. Now let's align the buses in Cubase to the ports on the interface. Let's go to Devices, and let's go to VST Connections. Now here's the problem. Cubase automatically defaults to Stereo In and Stereo Out. But we want Mono In Stereo Out tracks. So let's remove this Stereo In bus, and let's go to Add Mono. This is a Mono In. And let's add another one, another mono bus. This is going to be mono in two. So this is going to be the left track. This is going to be the right track. And you can see that we are lined up with the Focusrite 2i2 driver. And then let's look at the output. We got stereo out. So again, mono in, stereo out. Mono in two, stereo out. Okay. The next thing we have to do is connect the tracks to the buses. We go to Edit Channel Settings. Right here it says No Source. Let's change that to Mono. 
so we can get mono in, stereo out. And let's go to track two. Let's edit channel settings. And again, here it says no source, but we want to select mono in two here. So mono in two, stereo out. So now we can test the microphones. Let's turn the monitor on. And there's a signal there. And let's turn mic 2's monitor on. And it has a signal. The final step in the setup is to check the speaker. So let's bring in a test tone. Now remember, anything in this track is going to be played through the speaker that I have plugged into the interface. Let's see what we get. Okay, that looks good. Now we have Cubase set up to calibrate and compare two microphones. Before we calibrate the microphones, we have to disconnect both of them from the speaker. If we don't, the mics will play through the speakers causing feedback. To do this, all we have to do is go to Edit Channel Settings and change Stereo Out to No Bus. And we do the same for the second microphone. Change stereo out to no bus. When we want to play back the recordings, all we have to do is go back and change no target to stereo out. Now let's calibrate the microphones. We go to devices. Select Mix Console, and then I'll snap it there, snap it there. So let's activate the microphones, and play the test tone. We'll use the gains on the interface to adjust the levels of both microphones. Okay, that looks close enough. Now, both microphones are calibrated to as close to each other as possible. Okay, we have both microphones set up to compare. This process is the same for any multi-track recording software. If you have any questions, I'll do the best I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.